So a few days ago, I got an email from someone who wanted to know my opinion on Michelangelo Badio's advice for finding your perfect picking hand position for playing fast. Specifically, the part about focusing on your tremolo picking, which is just playing one note up and down really fast. <laughs> And according to Michelangelo, whatever hand position you're in when you're doing your tremolo picking, whatever motion you use to do your fastest tremolo picking is the exact hand position and the exact motion you should use for all of your picking licks. Now, I've actually never seen the Speed Kills instructional video all the way through, and I had no desire to even do that up until the moment when the person emailed me about this picking hand issue, because I gotta tell you, this advice made absolutely no sense to me at all for reasons I'll get into in just a little bit. But before I pass my final judgment on it, I wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth. So I actually bought a digital copy of the Speed Kills video and I sat down to watch it all the way through this time to see if I could find the exact moment when Michelangelo gave this advice. And because I don't want to post copyrighted content on YouTube, what I thought I'd do is just read to you a little snippet of what Michelangelo says in the video that I have printed out here in front of me. And by the way, if you don't believe what I'm saying, just go out and buy yourself a copy of Speed Kills. It's only like 20 bucks, so you can verify for yourself that what I'm saying is true. Anyway, so at 7 minutes and 8 seconds in the video, Michelangelo says the following. What is your potential picking speed? It's determined by one simple exercise called the tremolo. You can't play faster than banging on one note. Then he proceeds to demonstrate fast tremolo picking. And what you need is consistency with your right hand. When you get that tremolo, that's the way you pick the best, that's the way you pick the fastest. And take that exact motion and begin to slow it down. Now, I want to preface what I'm going to say next with this is not a personal attack on Michelangelo Obedio in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. In fact, I don't even know the guy personally. All I know is that he's obviously a great, world-class, legendary player in terms of his playing ability, for sure. He's one of my all-time guitar playing heroes from back when I was getting my playing together. So, he has my full respect as a guitar player. As far as this specific piece of advice from this specific video that I'm responding to here, I disagree completely. Here's why. Now, it is true that you can't go faster than banging on one note. We can't argue with that. The problem is if you try to take this one point and build the rest of your argument on the shaky foundation, which doesn't hold any water at all. For one thing, it's very possible for someone to do tremolo picking the wrong way. This is especially true if you've been teaching yourself for many years. For instance, I've seen a lot of people trying to do tremolo picking by moving their thumb and index finger. And if you try to do tremolo picking like that, you're going to have a heck of a time. <laughs> Yeah, good luck trying to do that fast. And it doesn't matter that your tremolo picking speed may always be faster or even much faster than your other techniques, because if we're talking about your true potential picking speed, we have to start with the assumption that your technique, hand position, and motions are correct to begin with. And if they're not, then the argument just falls apart completely. So unless your tremolo picking is spot on, then all you have is just slow tremolo picking that just happens to be faster than the rest of your slow and sloppy playing. And that's about as impressive as being able to afford the most expensive thing on a McDonald's menu. The second the second big problem I have with this advice is when you're doing tremolo picking, your pick is moving with artificial efficiency. That's precisely because you're doing tremolo picking or just banging on one note, you can lock your entire hand in position that's going to be most ideal to move the pick as little as possible. So when you do tremolo picking, the pick can and should be staying as close as possible to the string. <laughs> But you can't apply that efficiency to any of your other picking techniques. The moment you try to change strings, you have to use a whole different set of motions with the wrist, a whole different set of motions with the arm, and that's just to play a simple scale where you're changing to adjacent strings. But if you're trying to do inside picking, string skipping, or any type of legato in combination with picking, forget about it. Your tremolo picking efficiency simply doesn't transfer. So even if your tremolo picking technique is textbook perfect, and even if your tremolo picking top speed is the fastest, absolute highest maximum potential picking speed, you would never be able to apply much of that efficiency in the rest of your playing. And finally, Michael says that mastering tremolo picking is the single most important thing you can do if you want to play lightning fast. I beg to differ. Because if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you've heard me say many times that speed is a byproduct of many things coming together. There isn't any one thing you can do that's going to be the magic bullet to building a lot of speed for you. The more time you spend practicing your tremolo picking, the less time you have left to work on all the other building blocks of guitar speed. You know, things like two-hand synchronization, picking hand articulation, excess string noise control, playing in time, string changes, string skipping, hearing notes at higher tempos before you play them. Shrimp potatoes, shrimp burger, shrimp sandwich, 
that's, that's about it. All these things need a lot of practicing too, and the more you neglect them, the harder it becomes to play fast and clean. Not to say that tremolo picking isn't important, it is, and if you want to work on it, then by all means work on it. Just don't kid yourself and think that if you get your tremolo picking speed up by another 20 beats per minute, you'll magically catapult yourself 10 more levels as a guitar player. You mean like this? <laughs> Now, all that said, three things. First, as I said, this is not a personal attack of any kind whatsoever. It's just a specific response to a specific piece in a specific video. Nothing more, nothing less. Second, since this video is obviously pretty old, it was released back in 1991, it's entirely possible that Michelangelo has changed his view on how to build speed since that time. It's possible he teaches it differently now. I don't dispute that. I'm simply responding to this video because this was not the first time somebody asked me for my thoughts on Michelangelo. Angel's advice in this area, so I wanted my opinion known on this issue. And third, I fully expect for people to watch this video and disagree with me, which is totally fine, totally fair, because I'm the one throwing the first punch here, so to speak. So if you disagree with the points I made, if you think that I'm wrong and you should follow Michelangelo's advice on using tremolo picking as a basis for your entire picking speed, great. Comment down below why you think so, or better yet, make a video response addressing the points like I did point by point and showing me where I'm wrong and Michelangelo is right. I'd love to see that. But if your only argument against the points I made is going to be talking about Michelangelo's picking speed or him being voted as the fastest guitar player of all time or the shows he's played on or his over-under technique, which is all great, it's all impressive, it's all wonderful, it just has nothing to do whatsoever with the points I made about using tremolo picking to build your picking speed. So unless you're prepared to defend the line of argument that somebody's picking speed or somebody's music career credentials mean that we should just accept everything they tell us as dogma and not think it through logically, think before you comment. If you want to know more about building guitar speed with less practice time, hit the link below. I'm going to show you a free one hour masterclass called Guitar Speed Formula. There I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process of how to build guitar speed without doing any slow practice. It's a pretty innovative guitar practice approach you've probably never seen before, but if you do what I tell you for 10, 15, 20 minutes, you can often surprise yourself by how quickly your speed begins to increase. If you want to check it out, hit the link below, enter your email address, I'll send it right over to you. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and also hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video just like this for you. This is Mike Filipov, guitar practice expert from practiceguitarnow.com. I'll see you next time.